Hello, it's Rachel. So if you're here, you're trying to play Bioshock 1 and 2 Remastered, but the mouse is driving you insane. There's something wrong with it. It's too sensitive, it's accelerating crazy. Why didn't the why didn't the developers fix this? Why do we have to fix it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, I am new to Bioshock 1 and 2. I was ready to put a blind let's play on my channel and realized I couldn't play it. So I had to Google the issue and I found the fix was really difficult to follow. It took longer than I think it should have. So I wanted to put this guide out there to help other people. Um, this fix worked for me, so hopefully it'll work for you. And this is for Windows 10. Um, it probably will work for other versions, um, but yeah, go ahead and try it. So first, make a folder somewhere safe on your computer and call it any backup. What does that mean? What is the any? The any is like a configuration file that you're going to modify. And because you're modifying the file, I don't want you to fuck anything up. I want you to have a backup of the original file that is unmodified. So I suggest you put it somewhere. And when I, when I say somewhere safe, like for me, I just have a YouTube folder. I put in a folder called Bioshock and then Fix Mouse Issue. <laughs> and then any backup. And because I'm fixing both Bioshock 1 and 2, You'll see that I'm going to have separate folders for each backup. So this is just to save yourself a headache if something does go wrong. Because if not, you're going to have to reinstall the game to get the original any file. Now the problem a lot of that was a pain in the ass. How to find your any file. Um, the fastest, easiest way is to just type into your explorer bar app data and put the wildcards around it, which is percentage signs. And just press enter. Okay. The folder that you're trying to find is normally hidden, but it doesn't matter. Just type in this in your explorer bar and bam, it'll pop up with app data roaming. And in that folder, you should see Bioshock HD. Um, and then if you click into that folder, that's where I saw Bioshock 1 and 2. So, like I said, you can, the, this guide applies to like the fix for this stupid mouse issue is the same for Bioshock 1 and 2. So I'm going to use the first Bioshock as an example. So go into the first Bioshock folder and you're going to see a bunch of files in there. You want the one that says user all the way at the bottom. That's the any file. That's what I want you to back up. So right click on it, copy the file into that folder that you made earlier. And I suggest making, like I said, two folders in that backup because Obviously, the Bioshock 1 and 2 user file, they're both called user. They can't both be in the same place. So just make two separate folders, kind of like you see in the picture. All right, so once that's done, close it out, forget about it. Go back to your original user files. Like This is what we're going to be modifying the code. Um, this is just where I explain, you know, something could go wrong. Hopefully it won't. <laughs> if you're careful, nothing will go wrong. Alright, so the first user file, I want you to right click on it and go down to where it says open with and then click on notepad. When you do that, you're just going to bring up this file with a ton, ton of code in it. And I want you to hit control F, that'll bring up the find box. And in the find, it's going to ask find what? Type in a mouse x. A mouse x. And then click find next and in this little picture. I have um, a little red arrow where it's when it finds it, it's going to highlight it blue. And notice how um, A mouse X is above a code that says A mouse Y. And you're going to see that everywhere. So this is not the only place where you see this. So right now, see how the speed says 2500. I want you to change it for both rows, for both A mouse X and A mouse Y, change it to 500. Okay, so I have a before and after. When you replace the number, don't put spaces or anything. Like, um, the language, the code is really specific. So just take out the twos and make it 500. And then once you do that, do click on find next again. Don't close down your control F box. You're gonna find that there's several rows with this A, a mouse X and A mouse Y. And you're gonna have to replace a lot of 2500s <laughs> with the number 500. And I think there was around, I don't know, 40 in Bioshock 1 user. 
and I kind of noticed the Bioshock 2 user file, it had like way more. So that one took forever. And when you're doing this, just be careful not to fuck it up. Like just take your time, get it right the first time. That way you never have to go in here again. <laughs> so once you do all that, there's one last thing you need to find. Um, you're gonna type in your control F in your uh, find box, W equals move forward. And that's assuming that your key bind is the, you know, WASD. For me, it's not. So I had to look for right mouse equals move forward, but for the majority of people, you're, you're just looking for W equals move forward. So once you find it, you need to copy this really long code right next to it. Okay, and I get that it might be difficult to like type this out yourself because there's a lot of spaces, you might fuck it up. So just, I'm gonna copy this code into the video description, so just use that and just copy and paste it into your code. Just be careful that you're not like fucking up the, the space. The, like if you copy something to the file, make sure it's like not overwriting something that you don't want overridden. So what does this code do? This creates a keybind to disable mouse acceleration and smoothing. By attaching the command to your move forward key, you can set it and forget it. If you instead rebind it to a unique key, such as like K or something that most people don't use, you will have to remember to press it every time you load into your game. Or your mouse will act all crazy. So that's why, you know, just re I think it's a good idea to just bind it to your move forward, that way you don't even have to think about it. And your last step is to do file save. Don't do a fancy save as, just click file save. And now go test your game. After I did all this, mine worked. I was so freaking thrilled. I was like, hallelujah, why can't the stupid developers fix it? <laughs> Sorry for being uh, mean about it, but damn. The game's been out long enough, you would think a patch could fix this. Um, yeah, so this worked for me, and I think I did find some obscure threads where people tried different numbers, but hey, I tried 500, and that worked. I'm not going to mess with it. I hope this works for you. If it does, uh, please put it in the comments. I love to know that I helped someone. That's my goal here, is just to help someone because ugh, it, it took a long time for me to figure this out. Alright, happy gaming, and see you next time. Bye-bye.